When vein disease in the legs worsens, so does the discomfort, causing a decrease in quality of life. Dr. Douglas Joyce of Joyce Vein and Aesthetic Institute discusses the symptoms as well as his state-of-the-art laser treatment, which has a remarkable record for curing these conditions. I think moderate disease is when a person has symptoms, either that they can see past spider veins, let's say a large area of varicose veins, uh, usually in the lower leg, uh, usually on the inside of the calf, I would say, uh, that would be considered moderate disease. And also people that have uh, symptoms, they have a lot of aching of the legs, tired legs, um, restless leg syndrome at night where a lot of those people have, have moderate venous disease uh, where they have some varicose veins but not enough that they thought it was worth doing anything about um, and now they find that they're having difficulty sleeping. They have to get up in the middle of the night and walk around or dangle their legs or soak their legs in water, uh, hot water, uh, to get that to go away. They find that in the morning it seems to be better, but as the day progresses it gets worse and worse. And that's moderate venous disease. When you hear that history, then your antenna have to go up and you have to say, you know, I need to scan this leg because something's going on here that I might be able to help this person. Do varicose veins go away on their own? What I always tell people with varicose veins is that and they never get better. They always get worse. It does not improve. So if you're having symptoms and you've presented to a vein doctor, it's probably time to fix them. That's enough that you've come through the door with them because it's just going to get worse. Dr. Joyce examines the newest treatments for these vein conditions. The treatment options are, are really laser based. Uh, you know, about 10 years ago, um, the experimental work was being done and we actually had one of the original lasers here that we were working with and uh, this was using fiber optics delivered uh, or a laser delivered through a fiber optic, very fine fiber optic fiber, uh, inside the vein to actually close the vein from the inside rather than remove it like vein stripping. Vein stripping is an operation that's been done forever. Uh, it removes the offending vein and it works very well. The problem is you have to have surgery. You have to have it removed. There's stitches. It's painful. Uh, it destroys the nerves that are around the veins. And, uh, you know, if there is nothing else available, vein stripping is a great thing. But with the advent of lasers and the perfection of that technique, especially over the last six or seven years, we can do the same thing as a full vein stripping on the leg with a laser in 20 minutes through a needle stick and the patients simply will get up and go out and have lunch afterwards. So it's a whole different ballgame. The recovery is better. With vein stripping, you had up to sometimes two months of bruising and pain. With what we do now with the high-end lasers that we use, a patient uh, may have a day where they know it's been done and it may bother them for you know a day or two. And after that, it's a done deal. And they're fine and they have a little dot on their leg, they wash over it with soap, and that's it. I had a constant ache in both of them and uh, I think uh, I think I pushed myself beyond the ache and the pain just to do things. Well, now I don't have that ache and I don't have that pain. These procedures have a very high success rate, helping patients improve their lives. Success factor 99% hardly ever fails. The failures that we get with lasers are on generally people that have extremely large veins and we may have to repeat that but that would be less than less than one percent of the patients that come in like that. A person that comes in with a a dilated, normally dilated if, there's, if that's a word, um, vein, um, we would close that vein almost 100 percent of the time 